Mouth alcohol is an issue that can cause and does cause false positives and falsely high readings on DUI breath test machines. And the reason is this, the breathalyzers are designed to measure alcohol, not that's in your mouth, but, but that's in your deep lung tissue, a, a region of the lungs that, that's called the alveoli. And the alcohol content of the alveoli is thought to correlate to the alcohol content in your blood. Now, when you take a DUI breath test, uh, the officer will have you blow very, very hard. It's, it's a long exhalation. And in fact, a lot of people with, with a lower lung function or asthma are not able to complete it. But you, you blow this sort of long, hard breath, and it's really the air at the very end of the exhalation, the sort of last bit of breath that's measured by the, by the breath test machine. But if the breathalyzer picks up alcohol that's in your mouth, as opposed to the deep lung tissue, then it almost always results in an erroneously high false reading. Under normal conditions, the alcohol that's in the mouth will dissipate after 15 minutes. And that's why we have this rule in California that officers have to watch you continuously for 15 minutes before you blow into the device to make sure that you don't eat anything, drink anything, burp, regurgitate, vomit, uh, or otherwise introduce alcohol into your mouth. The problem is that in spite of this 15 minute observation period, alcohol can be trapped in your mouth because of braces, dentures, cavities, periodontal disease, dental pockets, even food that, that's sometimes trapped in between the teeth. Also, if you suffer from GERD or acid reflux or, or heartburn, this can cause semi-digested alcohol to be regurgitated uh, sort of silently from your stomach into your mouth and blown into the breath test machine. And any time this sort of latent alcohol is trapped in the mouth or reintroduced into the mouth, it's always going to result in a falsely high reading. And really, we've seen cases where a person was truly like a 0.03 BAC and ultimately registered a 0.16 on the breathalyzer. This is why breathalyzers are so dangerous. There are literally dozens and dozens of things that can cause mouth alcohol contamination and thus falsely high readings. The good news is that here at Schaus Law Group, we've had a great record of success over the years in identifying these factors and documenting them and using them to the advantage of our clients, ultimately to get charges reduced or dismissed, especially at DMV hearings and jury trials.